Then everything is all. Go on, give a wave. Go on, give, give a big wave. There you go. You need to subscribe. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. so, so they, yeah, they're not just random people, by the way. They are uh, <laughs> subscribers. So. Yeah. So fingers crossed, it's going to be a complete day off for me. So I've managed to have a lie in and very unusually, or thankfully, my phone didn't start going at silly o'clock um, in any way or form. So for the first time since I've been here, I've had a proper, complete, full night's sleep and didn't end up uh, getting up too early or anything. I had a, a lovely lie in. Uh, I even think Russia enjoyed herself. She was right by the side of me, flat on her back until we got up this morning. So I've just given Russia a walk, and it's a beautiful day outside. I've not took the camera out with me because I'm trying to have a bit of a calm day today. And so what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to have a run out. I need to go and get my weekly shop done, and I'm going to stock up a little bit extra because I've got to take my car into the garage tomorrow to have a look at this potential issue that I've got. And then when I come back this afternoon, I am going to give my van a proper full deep clean. It's not a proper massive clean since um, since I got here. So I'm going to go and get my Hoover. So my own Hoover is actually in the cabin at the minute. Um, give it all a hoovering out, a mopping out, everywhere a dusting, clean the windows. Uh, and I'm just going to have a, 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 a chill out day, basically. A bit like being somebody who's on a campsite on holiday. I even put my chair outside and... Uh, do a bit of sunbathing. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a very, 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 very calm day today. And fingers crossed, no dramas. Uh, absolutely no dramas. All right, just in Hogsthorpe, which is just down the road. Uh, I've got a couple of stickers to post out. Gareth Pugh, yours is one of them. Apparently, you didn't receive one that I sent out a couple of weeks ago. So um, yeah. That's those in there. Uh, so this is the nearest little shop to the campsite as well. A lot of people miss this one. Um, the little premier shop with a post office and it's ju just over a five minute drive. A bit of a problem with it um, is it can be quite hard to park because there's no parking and it can be quite a bit of a bottleneck. But I'm on a midweek, early afternoon and the roads are quiet, thankfully. Right, into Little we go. Right, and back from Little, the place where grown men walk down the middle aisle, congregate and stare at screwdrivers. There's three separate men grouped together, center island at Lidl, staring at a screwdriver set. Oh. But the one great thing with Lidl, do you go in the center aisle and you just never know what you're gonna find. Look, I found a garden sprinkler. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've got that now. Oh, jump and watering the. Uh, how far that sprinkles? Whoa! Happy days. Right, let's sit down for a moment. I need to give some massive thank yous. I've I received the other day uh, a few super thanks, including one for Russia, um, and whatever. So. Anytime I get anything like that, they always come as a complete surprise for me. There's a couple of others that have come in. Um, Sandra's up Saturday. I think she's coming up for a couple of days uh, over the bank holiday. So fingers crossed the ones that we've had in the past are in the purse and we'll go out and get a bite to eat. So sh sh Sharon Matha, or Matha, I hope you've got your name right there, Sharon. Big thumbs up to you for sending that over that's absolutely fantastic and to you mick davenport hi mick um ever so kind of you you actually put a note on that for helping me with the car um fingers crossed tomorrow i'll have some news on that i have been out in the car today and it has gone into this limp mode several times anyway it's going in the garage tomorrow to have a look at and rollo and neen i know you had an amazing time with us um with your recent stay at the nurseries i think it's july you're back so brilliant absolutely fantastic and i've also been sent a coffee from michaela and jez something's happening on the bbc rolf harris is dead isn't he hmm yep so michaela and jez thanks ever so much for that right i've unpacked my shopping i've bought some more ice creams and a 
bag of frozen chips, so they're in the freezer, and I'm now going to do the the glamorous work of getting virtually everything out of my caravan, and um, I've got the hoover, and I'm going to go and give it a damn good clean out. Perhaps shouldn't be doing this on such a roasting hot day. Um, I did give you a tour of my caravan a few weeks ago, it was a couple of months ago. And obviously I've got a full size double bed here, uh, they call it a French bed because it's got a little uh, corner here to get into the loo. But you've never seen it underneath, so only half of this. And I've got bits and bobs in, so I've got some um, bedding and sheets and things like that. I've got another box of bedding, I washed uh, my bed clothes a week ago so they, they're stored underneath here there's my leisure batteries underneath here this is my motor mover believe i believe it not um under here but the reason why i've just taken the mattress out is because i've got a very very hairy dog like most dogs are uh Rashio sometimes sneaks, sleeps up at the top there or down by the window here and um i've just got my hoover thing and i'm going to give it a a, a a big big hoover up for any rasha hair uh, so I say I'm just going to work my way right through the caravan and we get so many spiders here and cobwebs as well possibly can't see uh, but yeah uh, so I'll use the hoover and I'll go around the, the whole thing and then I'm going to get a damp cloth and clean all the shelves it's not going to look any different at all um, but basically everything has been absolutely scrubbed cleaned hoovered wiped uh, mats I'm going to give a wash uh, shortly uh, and let's say I've just got a bit of clutter here I need to sort and then um, sorry, rushes, left, uh, rushes with me as well there you go uh, just move the sprinkler up and try not to get wet I took myself into the back of my van trying to, try to dodge this let me dodge it. Oh, hang on, hang on, it's coming. Right, so we're uh, doing that area there, yep. Yeah. It's, it's hitting my van, but the window is open, but it's coming down on it, it's not spraying into it. Day, a week or so ago, I saw about a pair of jeans I've got where I've got some really bad stains on them. Uh, Anyway, I've got some stain removal stuff. I think it's just basically bleach, so it might end up uh, knackering these if it is like a bleach, because these are like a, a faded denim look. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub some of this onto the staining, then I've got a bucket of cold water, and I'm going to give that a soak, and then give these a separate quick wash and see whether the, uh, the stains come out. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, if it doesn't, because virtually every pair of clothes set of clothes i've got here um they're all scaggy things because of the uh obviously because of the job that i do and before anybody comments it is bleach so i have got gloves on sorry that's that's my little scoop so just uh yeah just in case you're worried and you're about to comment going oh don't touch that because it's bleach and i have put gloves on all right let's uh that keep soaking in fact i'm just going to put my glove on there let that soak for several hours and uh, see whether it does the job or not. Right, keep on going, Neil. You're becoming a proper little housewife today. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day as well. And then you can see that's outside my oh, awning. Um, yeah, very quiet. And this is definitely, definitely ice cream weather. Oh, yes. My favourites, love these. It's another beautiful day here at the nurseries. Um, my rooks are back. So I've not had a rook or millions of rooks for a while. Uh, and this morning, bloody hell, half four this morning, they were on the bird table where I put some food out. So I'm thinking about rook and pigeon proofing this. I might put some bars down here or even some netting with, with um, large holes maybe over it um, so the little birds can get a taster and I'm also now about to take my car into a garage in Alford uh, now we've been recommended as a, a small independent garage and fingers crossed not 
bad news and some some okay news would be good some good news would be amazing so this is the place i'm going to uh tnl garage services alford according to my sat nav 15 minutes away um Could it just be a, D a DPF problem? So these Mazdas are notorious that if you're only doing short runs on them and the engine's not being given a good thrashing, you can get carbon build-up in the DPFs. Maybe it's going to be something like that. Let's hope so. Right, found the garage. Easy, well, fairly easy enough. So uh, it looks way on an industrial estate. It's very busy. A lot of cars here. Um, let's go and see what they have to say. Um, yeah, incredibly busy <coughs> and just for information if you've got a motorhome the workshops are huge so there's no height restrictions so uh yeah one worth uh well worth noting in fact there's a few there's actually a motorhome just come out as uh as i was driving in yeah let's all see what they've got to say initial chat it could be somebody's already mentioned this it could be a temperature sensor that's got the problem so there's a guy there, he's gonna have a look for me. Um, he's doing an MOT at the moment, so I need to make myself scarce for, what time is it? 45 minutes or so. So I'm just gonna have a little run about. Um, and then obviously they'll put the diagnostic, check a thing in and see what fault codes come up. But it's encouraging what I'm hearing so far. All right, so just kill a bit of time. I'm just gonna give myself a bit of a walk about um, Alford, which is a very small, I call it a traditional town and one really sad thing really really sad the half moon hotel we came in here a few times last year um, it was an incredibly popular fantastic place with wonderful owners and when I say dog friendly when you made a booking for a meal it went under the dog's name so we used to reserve a table for Russia and unfortunately the uh it was just after the, well, early in the new year the family that were running it just couldn't make ends meet and then it's closed which is incredibly sad uh yeah really 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 sad and i really feel for them they're a, a whole family from south africa and they were exceptionally kind right and then the little market town's a bit further down here it's a new uh thing so this is um the pizza king so these actually deliver to the campsite so you can go on to their hub which is um food hub and they will actually deliver and we've had a, a, a few deliveries from them and they've always been okay <laughs> oh my golly oh goodness me it's uh scary and there's a chinese here as well i don't believe that they deliver we've actually been um and collected it's called panda so what we actually did was place an order and then ironically if we went for a drink in the uh half moon back there but well, there is another pub next to it so if uh, if you want to get a takeaway chinese you can come here the house prices around here are probably half if if, if not more cheaper than back at home I can get here a three bedroom detached bungalow, lounge kitchen, blah blah blah, uh, 160 grand. Um, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Uh, goodness me. Mumbai, that's where we are, it's 285. You get a lot, a lot of property. Uh, coffee shop in tea room just behind me and they've even got a traditional estate agent and the Georgian is just there and this is the Panda House uh, Chinese takeaway as well oh, that's convenient let's go and have a look in the uh, square so they say that's the main road in and then there's the, the actual square here always always a lot of cars parked here people local talk about this one here this is uh, again it's only 15 minutes from 
the campsite but a traditional um, handyman DIY shop etc I'm being waved at here <laughs> thinking who's he talking to but if uh, you're looking for a good old-fashioned traditional sort of DIY shop and uh, hardware and things like that uh, this is your place so an array of things from garden stuff to tools oh. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to pretend I'm in the middle of the um, I'm in the middle of little on the centre aisle. Let's stare at screwdrivers for half an hour. This day, this um, estate agents is incredibly popular, and there is a they've got a showroom. Is this showroom a shop? Choice properties. Oh, there's another Chinese here which I've never noticed before. Absolutely incredible what you can get here uh, compared to what the house prices are where I am back at home. It's just incredibly cheap. Right, dog groomers. Right, talk about dog groomers. I passed the dog groomer before. I wonder if they can do Rush's nails. Russia needs her nails cut in. It's absolutely... <coughs> wow. So I'm actually by this thing here. This is a huge property. It's uh, obviously it's a shop. I want to buy a shop. I've been there, seen it and done it. I used to own a property uh, and live above a shop. Uh, quite a big property. Four bedroom flat, balcony, two shop units, basement, rear yard. Absolutely huge. And that's less, less than 200k. Unbelievably cheap that out there. That that whole building. You see, it needs it needs some work doing on it, but you can get that for less than two hundred k. It's absolutely unbelievable. Seriously unbelievable. A oh, wool shop. I have to ring Sandra here and show her that there's a wool shop. It's a magnificent looking church. So again, some of you will recognise this. Um, when you come on the road in, oh, there goes a camper van. Right, and there's the there's the George as well. I'm just going to nip into this shop and uh, see whether I need to book an appointment or if I can just bring Rasher in for a little pedicure. Oh, Roman coins, one pound each. Better Roman coins, five pounds each. Metal detector finds. There you go. It's a metal detector find shop. Um, loads of stuff. Traditional butchers. Salad sandwich. Uh, he says, "Please do feed the pigeon." A very woolly one. Everywhere, so pretty Lincolnshire. Uh, everywhere, people just make the effort with uh, with planters and plants and greenery. Unbelievable! Right, let's go find this this place I saw. Right, so this person here, I can book Rasher in there and get Rasher's nails clipped. Uh, those have been watching my vlog for some time. There was an afternoon, I can't remember what, when it was last year, at this um, Olford Manor House here. Um, there was like a like a summer fair thing on. And um, yeah, I mean, Sandra came. It was really interesting, really, really, really nice. Right, we're going to get into my car, uh, eat this sandwich and get back to the garage. Goodness me, that's mega. Look, look at that. Probably, uh, I'm probably going to eat half of that and save half of it for my dinner tomorrow, put it in the fridge when I get back home. Right, so good news. Um, it's nothing terminal, it's nothing catastrophic. It's We've come to the conclusion, or not we, um, the mechanic has come to the conclusion. It's just uh, a temperature sensor that needs looking at and possibly changing. So I've got it booked in. 
but next week and obviously uh yeah I'm, I'm 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 happy with that so that's the sort of result that i wanted to hear happy days are here again right well done car um yeah brilliant that's good news really really good news i'm made up with that and uh i know a few people have made comments on past videos um where i've been mentioning my paranoia about uh, engines overheating and head gaskets blowing <coughs> i need to get that into my diary that's good news delighted well, i'm back on campsite of the nurseries in mumby in lincolnshire it never rains here does it no never no, no. never rains does it have you seen any rain no 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 have you seen any parrots Yes, yeah. Yep. So apparently, have you seen any aliens? No, not yet. No, <laughs> no a aliens are coming on the camp, I believe. So uh, yeah, um, I saw a couple the other day down the path here. So all these exotic animals now, the heat waves here is all gone. Yeah. Millions of messages um, have gone, but aliens are the ones to watch right. out for. So you've had, is it? Sorry, who gives you a name? Sorry, uh, I'm Sharon. That's Louise. Louise. And my husband Steve's down at Caravan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you've it's, it's six six nights you've had yeah, on pitch nights. number six, isn't six, it? I think yeah. you're on. And uh, yeah, just be absolutely honest. What's your stay been like? Beautiful, lovely and quiet. Beautiful, Pe peaceful. Yeah. Could, would come again, actually. Won't we? Yeah. yeah. I hope you do. Yeah. Because it never rains here, does it? Yep. And the sun always shines. And they've been ever so good. I won't lift them up, but they've just bought some um, some, some uh, campsite warden energy drinks. Who <laughs> 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 needs, needs energy drinks? And, uh, and, and some rasher snacks as well. Um, so they're there so uh yeah that's absolutely stonky and fantastic uh yeah it's been brilliant to have you here yeah. and uh sad day tomorrow it's all over isn't it yes oh. back home to leeds and yeah yes. leeds, leeds. Yes. nice working these days commute from manchester leeds every day crown, oh, crown, crown point oh yeah that's that not as far from us is it really yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Once upon a time, in a, in in my much younger days and all the rest of it, yeah, flipping, yeah, it was weird. You could leave home, and it'd be, in winter it'd be, it'd be cold and a bit frosty, and you go to the tops, and it's covered in snow, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All it all feels like another life. Right, right. Thank you for for saying hello to us and everything. Cause hello. Well, thank well, give you. a wave. Well, give, give a big wave. There you go. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. so I'm sorry. They, yeah, they're not just random people, by the way. They are uh, <laughs> subscribers. So yeah, brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. But you've actually seen me working sort of thing yeah and it, uh, i'm not just saying this but it is quite a full-on thing yeah, what i do which yeah, obviously yeah. you you the yeah. viewers out there only see a 15 20 minute video a day but um yeah it can yeah. be literally non-relentless non sometimes yeah. Really, yeah. Yeah. yeah right brilliant sun shining let's uh let, let me carry on right so yeah so on this the fibrillator appeal that we're doing um dotted around the campsite now the caravan site the camp Caravan Park, Holiday Park, whatever you like to call it. We have got a number of these about with QR codes if you want to make a donation for um, for us to get a defibrillator here at the nurseries. There's one there uh, in the cafe. And be interesting to see how well we do with that one. Let's keep our fingers crossed, shall we? Yeah. Right. Hello. Hello. Right. I was just saying a little bit earlier on my vlog, and I've been watching you as well. Um, there's a problem with rooks, isn't there? There is a massive problem with rooks and on this entire campsite. If you have birds, yeah. So there was a right ruckus going on, but what tends to happen? The rooks are here be before first light. Half past four now, even earlier. It used to be six o'clock, but it's getting earlier and earlier and earlier every day. Right. So and uh, and then as the rooks finish, the pigeons try and take over. Yeah. And then we... and the rooks come back at night. Yeah. About eight o'clock, just right. for ten minutes. And then my poor robin, and I've got a robin that lives on my bird table. He's absolutely. I, I, I call him Robin because I'm not very good at names, so I thought I'd call him Robin. Okay. So Rob, what Bobby the Wobbin? Um, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't get a say till about 11 o'clock because at the minute all the rooks have gone I don't, there, are, there is not a rook to be seen well I went on holiday I had loads of birds as you know yeah um, I told you to look after the place I did come back I haven't seen a single bird unless it's a pigeon or a rook no. since so let's go have a look at your bird table so, so I'll show you the plan I've got a plan Dan a plan Dan a plan Dan That's a t yeah right so basically could, do, do your rooks actually able to sit on there 
They can just get on. They can, yes. Right. They struggle, but they can. Okay, okay. So you've got the throw cloth over it, new tactic, um, in the evenings, haven't you? This is Dan's oil rag, and I put it on last night, and it worked. And they did actually try to get under it, and they couldn't. Right, okay. Morning. But that's all I need to do now. Right. But then they come to that. Right, so I've got a plan, but we need to we need to kind of walk up to me mower shed. Have you got a gun? I've got a, I've got a plan that's better than that. We don't need. I don't think we need to eliminate them. Killer Dave, we need to get Killer Dave in, don't we? You can't kill talk. a Dave. Why Killing not? a Dave isn't going to solve his rook problem, is it? Oh, you can't kill a Dave. Right, okay, we won't get Killer Dave in on the uh, on the rooks, but we, but do you want to have a little stroll to me my shed because I've got two things for you. I'd love to stroll to your shed. Come on. How many sh sheds? Seven. Oh, shed six. Which shed are we going to? There's a there's a band there's a band called that isn't this shed seven? Of course there is. It's one of my favourite bands. <laughs> I'm I'm a bit too young for that. Um, yeah, you probably are. Yeah, hey, too seen old. Any, seen any more aliens, by the way? Aliens? No, but we did get one on us. Uh... Yeah, hang, hang on a second. Talking about aliens. Hang on a moment. Neil, what's that? Oh, shouldn't I have done that? Yeah. Oh my God, I can't believe it. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Wow. Happening. Happening. All right. So, what my plan is is to put some of this netting onto the bird table, and that way the little birds should be able to get through, and the big birds shouldn't be able to get through. Will it work or won't it work? Modification version one. And then what I've done, I've got enough space here so I can get a can get plen plenty of stuff in there. And then if this works, I'm going to make it so I can disconnect it from the bottom so I can still get me top off. And all being well, we'll now see whether little birds can get on here and it keeps the big bad boys away. Right, so I'll finish this one off here. And I've had a, fingers crossed, an okay day. Fingers crossed. Car issues aren't gonna to be too much to worry about, although another light did come on on the way back. Um, keep your fingers crossed for me. I'm going into a very, very, very busy bank holiday weekend uh, from tomorrow. Um, when I say busy, I mean we are 100% full, including every single tent, um, grass pitch. Uh, actually, received a call really early this morning asking me if we had any um, vacancies. So yeah, all being well, we'll get some um, some video out over the next couple of days of a very, very, very busy campsite. Right, yo guys, look after yourselves as ever. Big thumbs up from me to you if you're a recent subscriber, um, and for everybody who gives my videos a thumbs up and comments and things like that, you know, things like that, one of them. Gotta get going, see you later. Mm -hmm.